Hey guys, it's Ryan with Fluid Health bringing you another episode of Science Powered Fitness and today we're going to be talking about uh, joint posture. So when you think about your body's posture, what you're really looking at is the ability of your muscles to support the relative orientation of the joint's position. So when someone says you have good mechanics, what they're really referring to is your body's ability to hold the organization of where the joint's position is relative to your center of gravity for the period of time that it would be operating in. And that could be a spatial relationship, and typically that's regulated through gait. So there's eight stages to the gait cycle, and then where the joints contract or where they move and how they couple together is called association. So how are they associated? If they're maintaining their centrated position, which means the neutral relationship of the joint center so that you're not wearing it, and are they coupled with the other joints in a specific pattern that's known to support the health of the tissue, well then that's said to, or you're said to have good biomechanics or you're able to maintain association. So when your joints can't support that and they go into a contracture, it means they're stuck in a relative position because the muscles become adaptively shortened or the structure becomes compromised and so they're stuck in a, in a position that would normally be associated with one of those stages of the gait cycle. So you're stuck in a, a weight-bearing joint contracture, you're stuck in a non-weight-bearing joint contracture. And we can see this in your posture. So we have a sidekick here today who's been kind enough to demonstrate. So we got Linnell here and she's gonna show you what a common joint contracture looks like down at the foot. So you see that foot's dumped in, that's said to be adducted, the foot's in, the ankle is rolled inward, so the talus is jammed in, that ankle bone at the inside, it's called the medial malleoli, is rolled in. That's a common joint contracture. That foot's flattened, her tarsals are spread out, and her knee is stuck in a varum, or excuse me, a valgum state. So that's a common thing. The joint would go into that position at the ankle and the foot, and the knee would go into a valgum moment when she puts weight on it. So if the joint's stuck like that all the time, it means the muscles that support the deceleration of those moments or those movements are gonna be compromised. So it means she's stuck in a, in a weight-bearing joint mechanic. So that's the issue, guys, is when we watch your posture and we see that your joints are stuck in those positions, we know that you're gonna over-associate in that pattern and then normally the tissues associated with that pattern become overused and then we get the overuse disuse, okay? So the idea here is to be better prepared or understand what's really happening. Make sure that if you have postural distortions, you fix those first before you work on the movement quality and then again, you would load it under duration to get volume tolerance and then load tolerance. So that's the way to approach the corrective strategy. If you guys have questions on any of it, reach out admin at fluidhealthandfitness.com. Once again, joint association, good. Dissociation out of its normal context, eh, can put your body into a bad position, so keep your eyes out. And again, ask questions if you need help. Remember, your body's designed to move, stay in motion. We'll see you next time.